Yeah, I don't really have much of a kitchen yet. Uh, I got this bulkhead built, some lights in it though. Or get my cabinets in, but I don't have cabinets right now or money for cabinets. Uh, anyway, making some squirrel pot pie. I've never made it before. So uh, we're going to try it out. Got my squirrel sitting in this pot of water. I'm going to get this simmering. That way, uh, get all the meat come off the bones. All right, got everything up simmering now. Uh, they're kind of floating up and not fitting in the pot as well, but you know, uh, rotate them around every once in a while, I guess. Anyway, so I'm gonna let that simmer away. Um, I don't know, maybe an hour or something. Kind of mess with it. Come back and check it. I'm gonna go hook up a sink in my garage. Just build a countertop out there. Once you simmer, I simmered for about an hour and a half. These ones on the top are a little bit tougher uh, than the ones that were on the bottom. The ones on the bottom came apart pretty easy, but it's still not bad. Maybe use a bigger pot. Um, so this is what you want. This is meat. Discard all your bones. I got two more to go. Or three more, I'm sorry. That's six squirrels in there. That's a good bit of meat. I'm liking it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to use some of this that we simmered with, but as you can see, there's all kinds of nasty stuff in there. So I'm not just going to strain it, but I'm going to try with a coffee filter too. And I'm going to get, uh, I'll fill this thing up. This is four cups and I'll see how that works. Oh, that made a mess. I'm going to take some of these chicken bouillons and throw them in there. Cut up any of that with some fresh water. And then some of our filtered broth. It's mm, probably enough. Well, the crock pot was warming up. I went ahead and I sliced up some carrots and some celery. It's about three carrots and uh, I don't know, five sticks of celery. And don't want to forget the onion. This is just half an onion. Uh, most people probably put a whole onion in. I'm not a real big onion guy, so I'm just gonna roll with that. Also gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm not gonna go too heavy because I can imagine there's quite a bit of sodium in those bouillons already. I don't know, I don't look at the ingredients, but you know anything about broth, it always has a bunch of sodium in it. Um, and then the pepper I'll load up pretty heavy. That's going to be pretty important. And then we'll grab a utensil here to stir all this up. Mm. It's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to leave this on high for a couple of hours. Uh, probably about three hours here. And then uh, I'll start gearing up to make the noodles. I decided I want to throw some potatoes in there. So uh, this has been going for a little bit. But I'm chopped up two small potatoes. Oh, good lord. Scrape them off in there at the end, whatever. How was that for a camera angle? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, where's my stirring apparatus? Here's one. There we go. It's alright, this it'll be soft. I don't know if everybody puts potatoes in there. I've seen some people do. And uh, I thought, since this crock pot ain't quite full, go ahead, just bulk it up a little bit. I don't, I don't want to over starch though. You know, potatoes, kind of kind of leave them, you know. What really matters is, is the meat in there. Well, here we go. First time making my noodles.
Mm, that gets really sticky really quick. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's like instantly bouncing back at me. I think that's good. I don't own a rolling pin, but I own a piece of PVC, so. After boiling those uh, egg noodles for 20 minutes, ooh, they're steaming us up. Oh yeah. I just added them to my pot pie. So I'm going to let that cook in there for a little bit um, before I remove the lid to simmer it down a little. <clears throat> and then in here, I actually got some more noodles. I ended up making another batch. I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough, but I'm just going to leave these for reserve. In case I'm like, you know what? I need some more noodles. If not, I'll just like use them for something else. All right, here's my final product. I did add some milk and uh, tried to add some flour, try to thicken it up here, but it didn't really work too well. Uh, can't really simmer off with a crock pot, but that's all right. You just use one of these spoons that has a bunch of holes in it. Slop that in your bowl. I actually just got done eating a bowl and it's absolutely excellent. You just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of hot sauce. Crystal hot sauce is pretty good. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, pretty good. I'll tell you what, these bastards are annoying during deer hunting, but uh, they are awfully tasty. So that's how you make squirrel pot pie, the Pennsylvania Dutch style. Just how we do it.